Today we are continuing our study into the psychology of trading. We're focusing predominantly on short-term and long-term memory loss. If you remember from our last video, we spoke about long-term versus short-term memory and why that's important for us as traders because we want our model to reside in the long-term portions of our brain because in the long-term areas of our brain that's where our unconscious competent activities reside things like driving things like cooking things like getting dressed in the morning we don't think about them we just perform those activities without any type of conscious thought process okay when a pilot flies a plane and there's a burst of turbulence and he reacts a certain way that's not short-term memory that's not the front part of your brain that's the longer term part of your brain where those instructions are kept and we just react okay and why is that important yesterday we talked about the fact that if you work from short-term memory which is where most traders are working from they're flying by the seat of their pants making decisions in the moment thinking versus reacting unconsciously to the signals in their model then we enter into a state of panic a state uh, that this researcher refers to as emergency mode your basal ganglia react which is that feeling of uh, absolute panic when someone jumps from behind a door and scares you or if you're attacked by a wild animal or a dog comes up to you and woo, 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 that's your basal ganglia kicks in your heightened response okay picture that relative to trading that's breathing fast heart beating fast sweat glands engaged pit of your stomach you can feel it and then here I want you to drill this in your mind the brain can develop this emergency mode of functioning as a habit over time these individuals are driven into a hyperactive state which is beyond their control Michael why do I make these mistakes why do I move my stop up why do I move my stop down why do I get out of trades early the answer is simple it has become a habit it is biological it is psychological it is universal you are hardwired to do this unless you learn to trade a different way okay so I wanna offer you guys a tool to get to that level models of human memory by Suzanne Ross they studied a group of guys at adaptive systems interaction that works with Microsoft to help develop software that allows people to remember things easier like your outlook calendar your appointments all of these things and here he says memory is a core aspect of intelligence that gives us an ability to review the past and anticipate the future then he goes on to say they want to build a system that identified key lem memory landmarks by learning and predicting which events would come to serve as memorable handles into activities of the past and then lastly Horowitz and his team knew that images help us remember events okay English translation we learn through storytelling and pictures from the earliest days before written word people told stories like all the trouble started the day we hunted for buffalo just over the river and near the foot of the mountains okay we remember through pictures if I ask you to close your eyes right now and say remember 9-11 can you see the towers in your mind do you see the planes hitting the building okay if I say remember the day the space shuttle exploded on takeoff do you see the debris falling from the sky from every television TV do you see the little hunks of flaming and smoking debris okay if I say remember President Obama's inauguration what do you see okay you don't think things like I pick I think of you boom there he is on the podium just like it was yesterday so we take this now as a tool to get memories from short term to longer term areas of our brain because we want to react unconsciously to signals we don't want to think about them in the short term memory because that leads to panic panic leads to a habit habit leads to destruction of our accounts so the tool that I offer you today is pictures relative to moving that information into long-term memory 
And in this case, the picture that I want you to use is our equity curve. Rehearse your equity curve every day before you start to trade. Look at it every morning and say, this is my equity curve for my model. This is what my drawdown looks like. This is what I can expect to see for maximum loss. My model rewards me for following the rules. My model will punish me for not following my rules. Pain is following the system signals. Pain, rather, is not following the system signals. Pleasure is taking every trade my model generates. Okay? It's reviewing your P&L for the last 150 trades and seeing that equity amount go up and up and up and remembering building that long-term memory that says when I follow my system this number gets bigger as I scroll down when I don't follow my system the number gets progressively smaller okay so using pictures to build long-term memory to avoid short-term panic and loss behaviors because if we don't react this way if we don't have this in our long-term memory we enter into a state of panic the market becomes a frightening scary ass thing <laughs> and we want to enter the market calmly all of the traders from the past and all of these books have told us the only way to trade successfully is to get our emotions and psychology under control. So the question begs to be asked, do you even have this? Do you even know this? Do you know what your system even is? Do you have rules? There's no such thing as a successful trader who doesn't have a trading model. If you don't have a model, and you can't say to me, I go long when the E-line crosses the T-line, for uh, X percent target one, Y percent target two stops below, hit target one trail stops 50 percent. If you can't say that to me, you're making decisions on the fly in the market and you're not making decisions based off of long-term emotionless reactions. So please take advantage of the offer at the end of this video to get into the live training and mentoring room and learn how to reconstruct that thought pattern in your mind when you trade right guys it's boring it's serene there's no panic it's just smooth sailing you're just sitting there waiting for your setup you're just sitting there waiting for the setup and when it comes you take it you move on to the next one my name is Michael from the trading authority dot com if this video has been useful to you please comment on it before you leave rate it I'd love for you to subscribe to it so you can get them as soon as I post them. Forward them to people that you know are having these problems. But more importantly, get in the live training and mentoring room. Watch over our shoulders. I want to meet you personally too. Sit down with you for a few minutes and share some things like this that might help you. I'll talk to you soon. If you feel the preceding video was a valuable tool to you, we'd like to encourage you to go deeper by visiting our website at thetradingauthority.com. Click on the free live room trial button to receive over two hours of exclusive trading psychology videos and one entire week of live coaching and mentoring with master trader Todd Brown as he demonstrates his exclusive dynamic structured trading system live. Simply fill in your name and email address and wait for the logon instructions to arrive. Don't wait to take control of your trading education. Take advantage of this free offer now.